All right, just a quick heads up for those who have watched my uh, two new mini series I've started, the Bitch Factor and the Bullshit Factor. Uh, I'm assuming a lot of people who watch it are actually going to end up hating it. I'm probably not going to continue it for too long if no one likes it, but uh, in case there is any concern and if there's anyone out there who does enjoy my channel, uh, that's not all I'm going to be doing. I am going to keep up the commentaries on regular games, try to hand out some tips when I can, and uh, I'm actually going to make a few tutorials. But So don't worry about those if you didn't like them. It's not all I'm going to be doing. So just to start off right here, it's like I've said before, don't be afraid to shoot through walls. And uh, capture points, always a good thing. But yeah, right now I am rocking the silenced M4, cold blooded, knowing me, probably commando, and uh, one man army, I believe. And right there is another good thing to do. Whenever you get flashbanged, go prone. You uh, can't see, but they can see you, so, so you gotta make yourself as small of a target as possible. And. Right here, there's uh, two huge things that bug me. One, that guy was kind of a camping douchebag just waiting for us. And uh, two, as you saw, I took forever and a day to aim, so he killed me. It was, I mean, my own fault for taking that long, but he still shouldn't have been camping there. In a state, what I really like to do is try to capture C and keep that defended. That way I can run back and forth through B, but I think in this video I actually primarily stayed towards C. Uh, I'm going to assume what happened there is some lag because he did actually get a lunge, so I'm a, he had to have been close to me at some point, but that's just trying to be nice. He could have just missed horribly. I don't know. I'm, I've gotten bullshitted so many times that I'm just going to assume that he did too. This was frustrating because he saw me right there, so he knew I was there. If he had, if he didn't see me, and I could have had him, but no. Yeah. Uh. One thing I'm going to say about running a cold-blooded is something I've said before is stay towards areas that people don't normally look. Like that behind that building is a great place for attack insertion since no one ever goes back there and great way to defend against A. But yeah, it's just always smart to not be predictable and since there's places that everyone always looks then go to where they didn't, won't be expecting it and another thing I'm gonna say about cold-blooded is don't forget that you're wearing it like kinda contradictory to what I've just been saying uh, especially on underpass a good strategy is kind of just to run, I'm not going to say just run out into the open, but you can actually use the middle area a lot more, because people on maps like Underpass, they're expecting you to go towards the sides, they're not ex really expecting people in the middle that often, and you can actually run right at them, and just sneak up on them in the face. It's an interesting concept to sneak up on somebody's face like that but it it's effective and yeah getting on this building is always good and it's another good place for a tactical insertion since unless you're on the roof you're really not going to see it you're close to see so you can uh, defend and do whatever the hell you want to do there this is where I kind of frustrate myself now that I'm watching this again. I ran the one-man army in this kit so I could switch to a danger close to calling in like predators and harriers and stuff like that. 
and I just forgot to do it. Fortunately, I mean, it still works out for me. The Harrier does enough work to get me the chopper gunner, and the chopper gunner doesn't do bad. The point is, I put one man army in there for a reason, and I just forgot all about it. So, yeah, don't forget about your perks. If you put them there, use them. Ah. Uh, call this camping if you want. But, I mean, I'm not just sitting here only watching that point. I was looking out the windows, and I saw them heading there, so there's a reason I was over there like that. I wasn't just, like, looking in the windows waiting that entire time. And the same reason that it's a good place for a tactical insertion, it's a great place to call in, like, the chopper gunner. Um... I think if I remember right, they do take it down fairly quickly. Spending too much time against people with... Yeah, it's already down. So many people with painkiller. Um... Not sure what else to say. I know, as you've seen, it's a problem I seem to have a lot. If you uh, ever see me in real life, you'll realize it's a problem I almost never have. But, yeah, the window does provide some decent sniping. And same thing, I saw him coming, so I waited for him. Call it camping if you want, but I'm not waiting there. Apparently, like to spin in circles every now and then. I don't remember what happens at this point, so, uh. Oh, uh, that's right, I switched to my assault kit and get pwned. I'm like, I'm gonna do good! Look at me, I have stopping power again! And they're like, haha, you can have stopping power all you want. We're still gonna shoot you in the face. Uh, and I get knifed as I say that. That's. That's about right. We're gonna shoot you with our knife in the face. There, see, so fixed it. Yeah. Um, if you're new to this game, this isn't gonna help you much. But if you've been playing for a while and you're just checking out this video, uh, just know. You'll learn from experience where they're gonna try to be. Like, I knew to check that window because people like to go there. It wasn't because I saw the guy. It was because I'm like, I'm assuming there's gonna be somebody there. But... Guy likes to camp. I mean... Maybe he just got there and he saw I was coming. Like, I've been using it as an excuse, but... I have video proof that I wasn't just sitting there the entire time. He does not. So, I'm gonna call him a camper. Um... Like I said, this is where a note remembering that you have cold blood on and stuff like that helps, like... I'm able to just walk up on these guys and they really just... They don't know what to do. They're so used to... Seeing the enemy, I guess. I get kind of lucky here. I, I, I think that guy should have killed me. I don't... I think that was bullshit against him. He got screwed, and I'm not afraid to admit it. 
Oh, yeah. Every complaint I've ever said against the knife kit is because of that right there. Lag. Makes them invincible. Screw care packages, screw everything else. When you have a guy who's going to lag around and make himself hard to shoot anyway, and then he's going to increase his speed, guess how, how that affects the lag? Not very well. And... That's, I guess, all I'm going to have time to say. So, later.